What's going on boys? Welcome back to another episode of the PR Iron Man series. As always, massive thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos and leaving a like and commenting on them as well. Uh, in the last episode, we managed to get ourselves the Vigorous Chain Mace, so in this episode we are going to be using it, uh, kind of doing a lot of other interesting stuff as well and making sure we can test it out. Uh, really, really enjoying playing the account at the minute. We have been delayed for a little week or so, but we've got ourselves a few extra gains. We are getting close to 70 farming, we've made some strength gains as well and overall just really really enjoyed the game, getting closer to the Song of the Elves grind as well. Picked up our first lot of cannonballs, we got about 9200 so we're going to try and get through some of those in this episode as well. Uh, but first we had a little idea and that was we got some crafting levels and we managed to get ourselves some dragon stones. Um, from revs so we decided to cut those up and use a wizard mind bomb and we will be able to boost to get ourselves the ring of wealth and then we will imbue it as well the ring of wealth eye gives uh, more chance of getting clue scrolls in the wilderness so that is pretty important for our account as we are looking to unlock the magic short bow as well but yeah, we get ourselves some gold bars and we end up going out into the game and we get ourselves 66 farming uh, off the bat and that's not too bad. Then we uh, go and enchant our rings of wealth like we planned on doing earlier and we ended up with some nice dragonstone rings which we will use 50,000 coins and a ring of wealth imbue scroll and we have ourselves an imbued ring of, ring of wealth so that's real nice upgrade for our account. Hopefully it pays off and we get some clue scrolls done as well. Didn't play too much over the first couple of days so that's why there's a few farm runs in there. We managed to get ourselves uh, another farm level off the fossil island trees end up with 67 farming so yeah i think it might be time to start getting ourselves some herb lore levels um and that is so we can get some super strength potions for our vigorous chain mace so we've started collecting a ton of herbs and we have quite a few secondaries as well we've been keeping up with the farming and we will go and try and get some levels uh we are currently 46 so let's see what we can get there's level 47, um, nothing too crazy for unlocks, but yeah, we're going to keep going. There is level 48, which is actually quite good as we can now make super anti-poisons and we can clean our aventos. Um, I'm not too sure how many aventos we have a look in the bank. Um, we have 113, so we can use these for super energies in a few levels time as well. So hopefully Calvarion can drop us some more Meyer fungus. After that, did some herb lore, got 49 herb lore, which is good. We're slowly starting to creep up through that. Opened our Laren's keys from our first couple of Slayer tasks of the week. And we end up getting some nice supplies for the account. We got some swordfish, which is always nice for some cooking XP. We get some snapdragon seeds, always very handy for the future. Some rune plate legs for some GP and some diamonds as well as some torstal. So yeah, pretty happy with that loot. Nothing too crazy, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Did some more farming again, 68 farming coming in this time, and that means we can grow palm trees, which we do have a couple of those seeds in the bank as well. Managed to hit 65 Slayer as well, which means we can do Dust Devils. And we are actually got ourselves a medium clue throughout that. Nothing too exciting from the medium clue. The teleports are always nice though for recharging the crystal bow. 68 Hunter came in, just doing some birdhouse runs. Nothing too crazy as well as we got these birds eggs and I just kind of tested them out to see what they actually did. Um, it turns out they give you some prayer XP and I'm looking to get 44, maybe 45 prayer anyway. So I thought I would just use them up quickly and you get yourselves the guaranteed seeds from there. I was running a little bit low on seeds so that was the main reason behind doing those and yeah got a couple of nice seeds, got a maple seed, palm tree seed, nothing too crazy from there. Then we did some more herb lore and ended up with level 50 herb lore which is a nice level to get as well. Um, fishing potions not really too much use but at least there's some more XP. I got a uh, two trover parchment drop as well as we decided to go and extend some tasks we have quite a lot of slayer points so we decided to extend the dust devils task for when we get them really good burst task and a lot of xp can be gained from them so i thought it was a good idea then got ourselves a revenant task off the bat which was absolutely beautiful um, and of course we recharge our crystal bow as and when necessary really really liking the crystal bow still however we are going for the magic short bow um for now so 
it's going to be a nice upgrade when we do finally get end up getting it. So we have decided to invest some of our GP. Um, we have started getting some fletching up. We are currently level 67. We've got 22,000 headless arrows and 22,000 broad arrows to go. Working on level 75 so we can just make our own magic short bows. We can risk them in the wieldy as well and not have to worry about getting smited and stuff like that and losing it and the salve amulet will be the protected item. Don't really want to use my vigorous chain mace as we will go through a ton of effort that's more for the wieldy bosses and stuff like that as well we've also started getting some oak planks uh, if we quickly go to the bank uh, we need to get 12,000 or so to get ourselves 70 construction obviously we've lost a lot of our GP but we do have the revs task which we are working on um, so if we take a look in the bank we've got our soda and sand still got 1800 logs and 8 1200 planks as well so that's a nice amount of XP to get us started with um, and pretty much we are enjoying the fletching grind it's pretty quick uh, the only annoying part is just getting the arrow shafts but I mean they're not too difficult to get just wait until the game updates and then buy them we are very very close to 70 farming and our fossil island trees are done so if we have got lucky and they've all grown fully we will get ourselves the 70 farming now so let's go and check out what we we have also trained some strength as well doing a little bit of afk and we are up to 73 strength still going strong with the hunter grind as well 71 hunter and nice we do actually have all three trees fully grown so we will get ourselves a lovely amount of XP here. 15,000 from this one, 15,000 from this one, and then finally 15,000 from this one. And we have now got 70 farming, which is the requirement for Song of the Elves. So if we take a quick look um, at what we need left, we need to do the uh, quests before, and we just need to get our herb law, wood cutting, and construction, and we are ready to go. So really happy with the progress so far and really really looking forward to the future of the account in terms of herb lore we got 54 banks so nothing really too crazy at the minute and we are still farming the secondaries as we go along as well so it's time to go to calvarion quickly uh we're going to do a little trip i'll show you how we get on and the gear that we use uh we've gone for prayer boosting gear salvami e is a vital a vital thing to have and the vigorous chain mace for us as well do bring a strength and attack potion as well just to speed the kills up a little bit faster as well so let's get into some kills first thing is finding a free world right we are ready to go let's get this calvarion kill it's super super straightforward all you gotta do is just run out of the way of the attacks hit him in between um, and this Vigorous Chain Mace just absolutely wrecks and it's pretty straightforward. Don't really take too much damage and it's pretty safe if you see a PKer as well. It's not too difficult to get away from them. Then the Hounds spawn and you literally just one bang them sometimes. Uh, my strength level is a little bit low but I can one hit them um, but I do tend to hit quite a few zeros. It's definitely the slowest part of the kill is killing these off um, but like I said it doesn't take too long anyway and basically that is that just avoid the blue squares and then he will respawn again after and we will be able to kill the next version of him but i'm sure you've all seen many guys before so i won't go too into depth let's see what our first loot is coming up to our last couple of hits when we get lucky um we've actually done quite a fair few kills um we get on this one some limp work roots all handy stuff for our prayer xp but yeah we're on 81 kill count i actually did a couple on mobile as well but on the loot in the corner here is what we got from 71 that's been tracked the runners are really nice and we have made a ton of gp worth of bank value and some nice alcables in there too so i'm just going to run through a couple of kills uh just kind of just to get this strength level out of the way and then we will be off to do something different after this is probably my favorite boss just the simplicity of it um and being able to use our new vigorous chain mace is just so good and i'm really really happy that i did get the chain mace unfortunately we got two of them and not the crossbow as well but you know we are working on it we're going to get plenty more rev slayer task and hopefully be able to finish it off as well there we go there's level 74 strength uh we also got a combat level as well so that's nice we can actually hit 39s with the vigorous chain mace and at this strength level that is just absolutely crazy it's actually insane how good at this is so yeah we're probably going to make this the last kill then i'm going to go and finish off our 20k broad bolts that we got earlier 
I don't know if I mentioned it, but we have invested up to about five mil, I think it's gonna cost us to be able to get ourselves the 75 fletching that we need. We still have our revs task as well, if we've got about 100 to kill still, so pretty looking forward to that as well, as well as we've also extended the dust devils, which is a great task for us in the future when we do end up getting it. Right, that's the revs task completed. Let's get ourselves another one. 128 greater demons, absolutely beautiful. The XP there is great. Um, first, we are going to go and out all of our things that we got from that. Uh, so if we take a look in our loot tab, we will just get out everything that we got. So we got some Addy stuff that was from another task. Plenty of rune stuff. Uh, we will put some orbs on these battle staffs because they're worth a lot more. In terms of bracelets, um, I'm not too sure how much more GP I'm going to need. I'll leave them there for now. Um, we'll out all of this. The runite but ores I'm not going to use for a long, long time. So not really too bothered. We'll be doing a ton more revs anyway. When we do get to 73 fletching, um, we can put our onyx bolt tips on as well. So that's like nearly 600k's worth of loot as well. And we will also go and open our Laren's keys um, after that as well. So we'll quickly out all this and then we'll open up nine Laren's keys and see what we get. Gonna run out of nature runes, so we'll make a little pit stop on the way to Laren's Keys and we will go and pick up some of those. So for a minute, we are going to keep our 1.7 mil that we've got. Um, it's nice to let the loot tab build up every so often as well. So hopefully that's enough to get us to level 75 fletching. Uh, we will work it out later on, but we're gonna do our Laren's Keys opening, maybe even get some more alcables as well. So wish us luck. Let's go in and go and get some Laren's Keys done. Right, here we go at Laren's chest. We love Laren's chest and let's get these keys open. Key number one is going to give us Runite Ore, absolutely terrible. Second one, Manta Rays, pretty good, but you can't cook them for a long time. Pure Essence, Snapdragon Seeds, pretty unlucky so far. Five Room Full Helms, that's nice and nice GP for us. Steel Bars, beautiful for Cannonballs, happy with that. Uncut Diamonds, always handy for some crafting XP. Uh, what else we get? More uncut diamonds and to end off 552 coal. So yeah, not too bad. We saved it at the end there with all of the loot, but not too bad. Let's get opening some more in the future. Uh, we're at 39 Laren's chests opened. Gonna go and hit up some greater demons now and we'll smith these into cannonballs later on. Uh, probably a mobile 